What's up peeps and welcome back to what we can officially call Sewerville. For in the last episode, they finally managed to put polluted water into our water reservoir and contaminate it with food poisoning bacteria. Currently, as good as our colony is looking right now, we are experiencing a deficit in something very important, and no, that's not oxygen, it's foods. So before we start doing anything, you guys need to start working on a pretty large excavation duty to at least find us some muckroots. Might as well plop down floors since we're here. There it is, that didn't take very long, did it? Right now, we only have outhouses, which is not bad at all, but they're pretty much pooping into a pile of dirt and rolling it around in there so it doesn't stink up the place. So, I believe it's time to start working on some of that plumbing. But before we do that, someone please refine at least 30 orders of the copper. There it is. Liquid pumps, liquid pipes, and most importantly, a flushable toilet. At least our sewage system is finally going to see some use, and this hatch is going to see some drowning in raw sewage. <laughs> Who the hell craves knowledge? Camille, you crave knowledge? No, girl, you don't crave knowledge, you crave muscles. Even more muscles. Okay, no, I won't yield. I won't give her something she wants, for we are trying to give her the suit sustainability training just for the athletics buff. So she is getting rocket piloting, and I'm not sure if I would trust her with piloting a rocket, but will she get at least a cool hat? Oh no, that's too high tech. Our colony doesn't even have flushable toilets. Ari, Ari, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm tempted to- Oh god, you just leveled up in athletics. The hamster wheel is seriously good, but we don't need you running, and she leveled up in machinery. <laughs> Uh, Ari, you're striking a really, really hard bargain, but we already have a generator. I know you like doing that. This is making you a better female, but <laughs> you can be doing more productive things. I'm sorry, I, I'm taking it away from you. As soon as I can wire this grid to the smart battery. I'm terribly sorry, Ari, but this is how it has to be. Why the hell is there so much algae on the ground? And why the hell am I seeing water dripping down here? That's clean water. Oh, that's clean water. Uh, I think I'm not storing algae in these containers. Let's change that. Turner, Turner, you yet again finished. Can't you tell me about it sooner? Okay, so now we have actual plumbing. Time to do some actual plumbing, although I'm very much worried about that polluted water. Can't I trap it? Oh. Oh, I think I'll try trapping it. Thank you, May. I see our harvest of mealwood is looking mighty fine. But well, if we start running out of food, I might start to consume children. Oh, there we go. Our printing pot is calling. Please give us something good. You ass very much an ass. What is that trait? A loner? Attribute bonuses while alone? That can be used quite well. Aw, oh, Bert is shy. <laughs> His body language says it all. Oh, next up we have another purring duplicate, aka a loud sleeper. Lindsay over here is pretty much unempathetic and she's pretty much the opposite of what we're trying to get, which is a duplicate for husbandry. Out of all of these duplicates, I'm pretty much going to be choosing the fungal spore. I ain't putting more hungry mouths in my colony, which can't do shit. The fungal spore necessitates the least amount of care, so give me that one, please. At least we don't have to build another bed for it. Okay, our food situation is still dropping. I am going to add yet another farming room. So let us place another one down here, right above the water reservoir. And I believe I may be able to use that to my advantage, so that the duplicates don't have to go from up here to down here to water the plants. I know Millwood doesn't need water, it only needs dirt, but at some point we'll exchange this for the bristle blossoms, and those need water. Dig this up. Dig this up. Tile this up. Go, stinky, go! Go, stinky, no! No, stinky, no! <laughs> You don't need to breathe, that was only mild hypoxia. Oh, the polluted water finally sealed away inside of a coffin. So now that we know that our water reservoir is probably clean-ish, let's put the liquid pump down here. If I could place it in there because of the ladders. Time to grab wires and connect this to the grid. 
all the way up here through the ladder and click and now we can grab the plumbing and drag a liquid pipe from here also through the ladder because you can do that and for now let's just place it into the floor right here next up let's add the actual lavatory since i left one more space back here Back to liquid pipe, the input goes here and the output is going to go right into our beautiful sewer system. I'm sorry, Hatch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Drag the pipe down and the liquid vent goes right here. The sewage is donezo. Now, when they eventually finish up the lavatory, I'll add one more and I'll also exchange the wash basins for proper sinks. Oh, would you look at that? Is that a morp? That's a morp, isn't it? Wait, wait, no, let me touch it. Morbs are attracted to unhygienic conditions and frequently excrete bursts of polluted oxygen. That is exactly something we need in Sewerville. These don't really serve a purpose. Yeah, I, at least I don't know if they serve a purpose. They're A, full of slime lungs. B, they excrete polluted oxygen. I think they're like trash cans. Maybe you can feed them some spoiled food and well, they'll give you polluted oxygen, which could be good. I don't know. I never tried touching one. If you touch one, you get slime lungs. So that's something we're going to try later on. And there goes another one of our mealwood fields. Gosh darn it, we have so many seeds. Yeah, might as well place mealwood in every single one of them. We can pretty much plant the dusk cap. What are the requirements? Oh, complete darkness. Well, there is complete darkness over here. It uses up slime. I don't have a lot of slime. I still didn't go over here. Now there's shit ton of slime over here. Like a shit shit ton of slime. And dust caps are actually very farmable because you can get slime from the uh, uh, from the puffs, which consume polluted oxygen and excrete slime. Wow, that's a good crop. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, atmosphere carbon dioxide. You're kidding me. That's all I have here. I'm planting down the dust, cap, the dust cap. Okay, I see our plumbing has been done and this lavatory should be working. So let's deconstruct the one of the outhouses and also one of the sinks, aka wash basins. And let's do it gradually because maybe, maybe I know my duplicates are going to do it. I'm only going to leave a single toilet here and now suddenly they're going to start peeing on the floor and it's something i would love to prevent there we go beautiful thank you for washing your hands did you actually finish washing your hands i don't think you did finish washing your hands i i'm not sure i like that there it travels the waste the waste has not been deposited into dirt it is being deposited on the hatch <laughs> poor ass here comes the sewage. Just don't stand right below it. And there it goes. Do you like it? I hope you don't. <laughs> What's happening here? Growth halted fertilization. I don't have slime? Like any slime whatsoever. Oh, this is filled with slime lung. Uh, you know what? This one is. Yeah, let's just. I just grab one block. You'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. And boom. Plumbing. Liquid pipe. Up. Up. Mwah. Mwah, chef's kiss. Mwah, that's what I call a proper toilet. One you would find on the side of a highway. You know, those filthy ones which smell like shit. Because someone kept all this litter on the ground. Not only that, we have some piss bottled water in here which no one is trying to get rid of. And it's just smelling up the place. So it's a toilet, but yeah, it's that kind of toilet. Oh my, what am I doing? I still want to remove the hamster wheel. Nope, nope, this goes away. This battery goes away. This battery goes away because you are discharging so much electricity right now. Shoo. Oh, who craves new skills? Me. let's go. Yes, crop tending. Plus to agriculture. She's not very good at agriculture. She has foreign agriculture but she's the best we have so crop tending too let's go i may just give you critter ranching she won't be good at critter ranching the critters won't love her that much but maybe maybe 
just so I can get that hatch from the sewage. <laughs> let's not forget about the new hat. Let's get rid of that gray, shall we? Yes, orange. A bit better. So I've just been on the toilet and had a magnificent idea. No, no, no. Hear me out. Let's use this ice biome we have up here. It is filled with sleet wheat. Sleet wheat is actually a very good crop, but the problem is that it only grows in cold areas. That's what makes it a bit harder to cultivate, although not really. How about we create a scaffolding up here, which leads us directly to the ice biome where we can then harvest the sleet wheat. And from the sleet wheat, we can make very filling pastries. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. We just need to find a proper entry point. And I believe the proper entry point is going to be right over here. Now we add a ladder. We add a ladder properly. There we go. And that's done. We can already enable auto harvest on this one. And this one is going to grow in... <gasps> Okay, let's just call it a temporary idea. <laughs> I did not realize the life cycle was 72. In wilderness! Oh gosh. Well, it produces a lot of sleet wheat grain, which we can use to make pastry, so let's say it's fine for now. Now, since this room over here sits directly under the ice biome, I'll turn that into the chef's room where we can make food. We can also store the food there and it won't go bad. This is pretty much a refrigerator. Oh, that is almost the freezer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter. We'll put the grill there. We'll put the refrigerator there, although I don't think that will be necessary. Let's just put it there in case something happens and we'll leave it like that. So finally, our little cook, I think her name was Ari, is going to be able to cook some bloody food. So place the electric grill down here, and let's also place a refrigerator down if I actually have it. And I don't think I do. Turner, Turner, I have a job for you. Oh! No, 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 first turn, then the printing pot. Now, who do we have here? Someone... Ugh... There is no one useful here, is there? Except for the oxy fern seed. You gotta be kidding me. <gasps> oh, <laughs> so, so some of you already know algae terrariums. Algae terrariums allow you to recycle carbon dioxide into oxygen. However, they produce polluted water, which when the duplicants leave it there, it basically stinks up your entire base. An oxy fern does not do it, it just sits there and recycles carbon dioxide into oxygen, albeit at a reduced rate. It is pretty much an infinite oxygen recycler, and I love it to bits. I've never been able to obtain more than one. I don't know why, maybe it's coded that way, you'll only get one per planetoid, but we are grabbing that. Pretty much because everyone else is SHIT, except for you! Plus 90% run speed, paired it up with plus 30% run speed, and pair that up with the fact that Nisbet likes to punch people. <laughs> oh no, it's a dilemma. <laughs> I wanna grab Nisbet. Look how happy she is. The Oxy Fern Seed does not produce any reaction when it gets chosen. I think I'm sticking with Nisbet, but that's eight mouths to feed. No, oh, I want you so bad. You need lights to sleep. That's not a problem. Oh, I want you so bad. You're fast as fuck, boy. Do I want oxygen or do I want to have lack of oxygen? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nisbet. You came at the wrong time. I can't grab another mouth to feed. I'm running low on food. I'm grabbing the one which does not need feeding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Ah, oh, ah, that hurt my soul. Okay, let's see who wants to learn some new things. Amari, yeah, our digger. Do you want that? Or you want... <gasps> I forgot she likes ranching. <gasps> Are you good at ranching? <gasps> you're not. <laughs> oh shit, you're not. <laughs> Amari, you... You just dig a girl, okay? You can get a better hat. <gasps> a black one! Now that's a proper coal miner, let's go. So let's place that oxy fern seed somewhere where it has a good concentration of carbon dioxide, which is pretty much 
anywhere down here. However, I'm thinking of placing it instead of this one. Yeah, only 25% growing. No, you're getting uprooted. I'm sorry. I'm not really, no. And instead of you, we are getting the Oxy Fern. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it consumes water. It consumes a lot of dirt, but hey, it's okay because we'll get oxygen in return without any repercussions like polluted oxygen. So it's, let's just say it's decent. You can already see the blue goodness coming out, leaving through the airflow tiles and into the rest of our base, which is something we really need because the oxygen here is barely breathable. They have good lungs, so it's fine, but it's barely breathable, which is not good. Okay, let's plug in the electric grill, which only uses 60 watts. I thought it used more. I want frost buns, which I want to be made pretty much forever. Also, could you please, could you please remove the polluted water? It goes in here. These things go in there. So sweep them for Christ's sake. They've been smelling up the place for how many? Six cycles? That is insane. Clean it up. Thank you, Ari. You almost competent person. And we have the refrigerator. I doubt we're going to need to use it. We can just leave the food here. Refrigerator, plop it down here. And that is going to be a proper refrigerator. All edibles. That sounds weird, but yes, all edibles. <laughs> oh, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? Where? Where did you get that water? Uh, how? Oh, there was a chunk of ice there. I vaguely remember seeing it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just just sweep it up. That's, we, we don't need to panic. Sweep it up. Okay, let's use Turner's brain a bit more. What should I research next? What is going to be useful for me in my current circumstances? Now, we could delve into artistic expression. That will give us at least the hanging pots. We can decorate the place a little bit. Yeah, let's use Turner for that. Stinky, how does the bun taste? Are you happy? Are you not going to rub your tongue? As other people who eat the mukrut? No, everybody's eating the buns. <laughs> I hope your enjoyment is going to be reflected in your efficiency. Yeah, no more buns for you otherwise. So I've been thinking, I think it's time to step up our food production up a notch, considering this entire row of farm tiles have just been harvested. I am going to start replacing them for the hydroponic farms. Now the hydroponic farms work the exact same way as these ones, however, as the name suggests, you can pump water in them to water them automatically. Which is exactly what I would like to do when farming the bristle blossoms. Okay, I already predict everything is going to fall down into the water, so... Um, um, you know what, just do this. Problem solved, just do this. There goes everything, literally everything. Stinky don't fall down there. Oh no, if they fall down there, I still don't have a way out, figured out. No, 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 don't fall in there. Max, Stinky, no, you're playing a dangerous game over there. Do, do not, no, no. Okay, okay, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine, they're alive and well. It's just a couple of levitating blocks and we can live with that. And let's put hydroponics literally everywhere, except for these two spots on the ground. Now you might be asking, why the hell would I do that? That's because we kind of have a dedicated farmer with a high enough agriculture skill, not that I as I would want. So what I can place on these two tiles over here is a farm station. And the farm station can be used to fertilize plants, making them grow twice as fast. Now why the hell is that good? That's because you need to water and fertilize your plants every single cycle. That means the less time you spend growing them, the less resources you'll also spend growing them. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 not the slime line. Oh no. <laughs> it looks like I disturbed slime lung. Uh, that is not good. I 
shouldn't have disturbed slime lung. Now my dupes are going to have slime lung. We need to do something about that very fast. The thing is, slime lung only spreads through polluted oxygen. If you can remove polluted oxygen, everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. So I'm putting a deodorizer here and connecting it to my grid to start working its ass off and removing the polluted oxygen. Now we still have problem with the fact that there is polluted oxygen inside of here, which I think I'm going to get rid of by utilizing the fact that my room has four tiles in height. So three airflow tiles placed just like this, and we are putting a deodorizer inside of this crevice. Okay, turn on. Turn on. Turn on! Put the filtration medium inside of it! <laughs> what are you doing, Ari? Thank you! Go! Go? Don't go? <laughs> Procrastinate? What? Wait, it's not working because there is no polluted oxygen. Here. But there is slime lung. In carbon dioxide. Okay, and the germs are supposed to be decreasing. Alrighty, who wants some new skills? Stinky! I haven't seen you demanding skills in such a long time. Demolition. Are you angry? Do you have anger problems? Improved carrying could be good since he likes construction. You know what? We'll do just that. Enjoy your carrying. Enjoy muscles. You still won't beat Camille, so don't pick a fight with her. You'll die. When you're done with that, we need to plug these hydroponics into our water supply. Simply doing this will work. Then this will become a greenhouse as far as I know. Become a greenhouse. Yes! It can't operate outside of a greenhouse as far as I know. So now we just plant all the bristle blossoms we have here. Oh, no more troubles with food. Not only that, you can cook bristle blossoms into gristle blossoms, which add a bit more calorie count on top, which is so good. The only problem with bristle blossoms is that they need lighting, which is not really a problem. One over here and one over here. And as far as I know, that actually should be enough. How's the slime lung situation doing? <laughs> I hate the fact that we got contaminated. Oh. Oh, the reed fiber is here. Oh, the fruit is here too. Oh, I want it. <laughs> I want the marinated fruit. But most importantly, I want the pakus. Uh, they already died a bit over here. So <laughs> we have some food. We have some encouragement to get our asses inside of here. And I think it's not going to be a bad idea. You see, with me placing this deodorizer over here, it basically serves as a polluted oxygen plug. All polluted oxygen is not going to be able to get to our base because it's going to be purified. That means if we just start digging over here, I'll take the risk of us getting slime lung, possibly. And let's get straight to the Pakus, shall we? Our bristle blossom farm is done. And someone is trying to claw his way out of the printing pot again. Hey, you can continue clawing. I'm going to go to the electric grill and set the gristle. Oh, I can't set the gristle blossoms yet, right? Yeah, because I've never seen bristle blossoms. Okay, let's get straight to you, shall we? <laughs> You know what, you're striking a fine deal. Those eight fishies? And they're not small fishies, they're big fishies. I can immediately butcher them. Also, if I were to spawn them right now, you know what they would do? They would just flop on the ground. <laughs> I don't know. That fish mukbang looks mighty fine right now. I know you would want some, Devon. I see it all over your face, but too bad I can only choose one. So, no gourmet meals for you. It's... I'm just grabbing Pakus. <laughs> Let's see them flop, shall we? <laughs> yeah. So they're going to try and find the nearest water. And we have a water reservoir down here. Not only that, if we dig it out a bit more so we can connect... Ah, let's leave it like this for now. Amari, what the hell are you doing? Don't go there. That is full of slime lung. Do not... Go there. Do I seriously need to put a pneumatic door in here and forbid you from crossing the threshold? Amari? Amari? Get out. 
Oh, <laughs> I stopped it at the correct moment. They're already falling down. Well, isn't this a fine coincidence? Yeah, get in there, all of you. That was all of you. Well, I guess the thing took care of itself. Oh, poor Paku. Poor, poor Paku being crowded in this little, little pool. Ah. Uh, how can we save you? How can we save you from being crowded in this tiny, tiny pool? Mm, if only, if only there was a way. <laughs> a yummy way of getting rid of a couple of individuals. You know, relocating them into, what do you call it? A stomach? I'll be leaving two Pakus in there that will ensure that we'll get some eggs soon enough. And I think we can actually turn this into a farm. We did research ranching, didn't we? And ranching also comes with a fish feeder. Yeah, just... <laughs> Thank God they're not fighting back, am I right? Uh, also, our dedicated cook. I forgot what your name was. Give us cooked seafood forever. Thank you very much. No need to actually keep it in our inventory. Let's actually make the hole four blocks deeper. If the hole is deeper, I am able to place a fish feeder down. This build is actually quite big, but we can fit it exactly down here. Max, are you cold? Oh, don't stand there. Don't stand in there. Oh, shit. They love to stand here. They seriously love to stand here. I think I need to build another deodorizer over here. Actually, I think we can destroy this one and just move it over here. They really like to explore the slime lung biome, you idiots. Does it work? Filter's not designated. Okay, it works. Baku, algae, that's all we fill it with, and it actually works. Mwah! Perfect. That's actually it. We have a Paku farm. The best thing about a Paku farm is that you don't need a dedicated person who knows husbandry. You just need a pool of water, whatever water. You know that sewage would do just a trick too. But we're going to use clean water for now. We don't have a lot of sewage and... <laughs> Let's just say we already have an inhabitant in this pool up here and he made a kid. Wow, <laughs> what joy. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you need to domesticate Pakus is the fish feeder, which works automatically. You just need to fill it with whatever food you want, which is going to be algae. I'm not using anything else. This is perfect. This is awesome. We managed to shove the polluted water into a seal. We managed to create an actual Paku farm. We upgraded our normal farm, managed to get an oxy fern, and not only that, we finally have working plumbing inside of our base, and we're steadily and surely filling up the sewage pit. With that being said, I am going to conclude today's episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. We have a Discord server. Don't forget to join it. The link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!